All right, well, it is Vlogmas day number eight and Wednesday. Wednesday is a late start day for my kids at school. So Wednesday morning I spend making breakfast and then getting my kids to school. And I don't actually get anything going until like 10 o'clock. So that's about what time it is. I have some soup going here. Let me show you. This is my turkey stock and I have made it from a frozen turkey carcass. That's right guys, a frozen turkey carcass. So you can put your chicken or turkey carcass in a bag and shove it in the freezer and wait until you're actually ready to use it and make stock out of it. And that's what I did here. So in my pot, I like to put a whole carcass. And guys, I had that weird like breast part of a turkey. Remember I did that a few days ago. I baked that. Well, that's in here too. So I have like one and a half carcasses in here. So I had to get out my giant stock pot. And then this is what I put inside my pot um, to make this broth. I have one half onion with the skin still on and I have that chopped in half. So it's two quarters. I have the leaves from um, and a whole bunch of celery. I've got one to one and a half carrots just washed and broken in half, put inside. I've got two whole bay leaves and a chunk, probably let's call it a nickel, nickel size, a chunk of sea salt. And then about eight to 10 peppercorns. And that's what I make my stock with. I start it on high, and then when it gets to a boil, I turn it down to low, and I just leave it simmering for a few hours. And it usually uh, evaporates a couple of inches out of the pan, but it makes a very flavorful broth. So it hasn't come up to a boil yet. I'm gonna get it to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down so that it's just a very low simmer, enough to keep a skin off the top. So I don't want a skin on the top of my broth. I just want little bubbles. So waiting to get that baby boiling right now. That looks really good. I'm just gonna turn it down to low. Come check it after I finish putting my laundry in. Okay, now that I've got this situated, I can get on with my day. I can actually, you know, do the stuff that I usually do instead of looking all crazy in yesterday's clothes and my hair all messy. But that's what life is like here in the Leech household in the morning before I actually get everything going for myself. Um, and you may be thinking, okay, but why are you making turkey stock for Vlogmas? Well, remember that for our Vlogmas, we are talking about how we're getting ready to move to camp. Well, this is just one more thing that was in the freezer. I still have two turkeys, two whole turkeys in the freezer. So had to get rid of this carcass and we still have some turkey left over from the few nights ago that I made that turkey breast. So tonight's dinner is going to be turkey noodle soup and I am using some of the lasagna noodles that we have left over. We're using those in our soup. I'm not sure if the ones that I kept that I've already boiled in the fridge are still good, but if they're not, I still have three boxes of lasagna noodles and I will just cook those babies and cut them up and stick them in the soup. That is the plan. All right, let me get going with my day and I will see you guys back here in a little while. Check it out. 
it's at a very nice simmer right now. There's no skin. There's bubbles coming from everywhere. It's looking good. Do you see how it's starting to get a skin? See if I press on it, see how it's like a little filmy layer? That's a skin. So we wanna turn it up just a little bit. We need a little more bubbles. That's a little better. So this is perfect. I wanna keep it going until the broth goes down probably about another inch. Hey guys. Right now I have the soup on at home and I'm gonna have Jason check it for me in a little bit. But I thought I would tell you about some of the other preparations that we're making in our minds. Rob and I had date night last night and we were talking about how we're going to be working on our house and still moving and still living there, kind of all at the same time. So our plan is to get a storage unit here someplace close by and move our living room furniture into that. Then we're going to move our bedroom furniture into the living room. Maybe not all of it, I don't know. We might just move most of the living, or the bedroom furniture into the storage unit and just have our bed in the living room. Then we're going to have, uh, we're gonna work on our bathroom and our bedroom, get them all fixed up. We're ripping out the carpet in our bedroom we're gonna rip out the carpet in all of the rooms. So then we'll finish the floors and we're finishing our bathrooms. Anyway, after our bathroom and our bedroom is done, then we're gonna have the girls move their beds into our room and we'll work on their room. And then after their room is done, we'll move Jason's bed into the girls' room and we'll work on Jason's room. So it's gonna kind of be weird for a while, but that still lets us live there, put stuff in storage, and work on, you know, the stuff that needs to be worked on before we can sell our house. So that's the plan. That all starts the weekend of New Year's. So in the meantime, I'm still doing things like using all of the food from the freezer and the cupboards and packing stuff. While I was gone, I had Jason take a picture of it. It looked perfect, so I had him turn it off. So this can be tonight's soup. see a few big chunks of turkey in here. But that's awesome. We'll put it in our soup. I went to pick up Amelia and Jason and Gretchen got the vegetables cut up and put in the soup. 
they even stripped the turkey carcass that was in the broth and now I am cutting up the turkey that I had made the previous time. So the vegetables are simmering and the smaller pot is for some noodles. I did not end up using the lasagna noodles. I just used a already open box of rotini. in the smaller pan, boiled them in the broth. It's gonna be delish. All the vegetables, all the meat in the big pot. So I better call the family because it's time to eat. And then after we are done, Rob and I have a Zoom meeting with one of the camp board members. We're gonna be talking about raising support. So even more stuff to do with preparing for going to camp. We're just getting ready for our meeting. Well, thank you for joining us, making some soup. And we had a conversation with one of the board members from our camp, um, just giving us some really practical advice about um, requesting support and prayers. So it was awesome. All right, this is gonna do it for our Vlogmas number eight. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay one addition we have a p.o box now near the camp that we're going to and if you send us a christmas card we will send you a christmas card you can participate in our christmas card exchange thanks summers in alaska for giving me this awesome idea all right so here is the p.o box it's kind of weird because they don't give you a number they just give you your last name so leech family p.o box leech in Dryden, Washington, 98821.